Okay, so the next subnet is 192.168.164 slash 26. I'll copy the previous example, but remember this is actually a different subnet now. The subnet address is slash 64. So we'll need to update these values in the last octet. So to work out the first host, you simply add one to the subnet portion. Subnet portion is 64. So one added to that is 65. The next subnet is 128. So going back to our original example, this is the second subnet, this is the third subnet, 128. That means that the broadcast for this subnet is 127 because 128 minus one equals 127. This is the next subnet, minus one gives us our broadcast for the current subnet. Last IP address in the subnet is 126. Next one is 125. Next one is 124. So there is our subnet broadcast, first, second last host and third last host. I haven't rechecked the binary. You could do that if you wanted to. I'm simply using a quick method to work out the IP addresses. So this router needs to be configured with the first IP address on the serial interface. So interface serial 010, no shut. IP address 192.168.165 uses that subnet mask. So again, it's just one more than the broadcast address. Show IP interface brief. There's the IP address on the serial interface. On the internet router, we need to use one less than the next subnet, so 127. Show IP interface brief. On the first serial interface, interface serial 010, no shut. IP address 192.168.1.126 with the subnet mask. 127 is the broadcast, one less than that gives us our last IP address. So can we ping 192.168.165? Yes, we can, so that's great. We have IP connectivity between this router and the internet router, and notice an OSPF neighbor relationship has come up. The routers were pre-configured with OSPF, so hopefully this router can now ping the DNS server on the internet and notice it can. On PC1, can it ping the DNS server? Yes, it can. If I trace to the DNS server, traffic is going to router one on the ethernet interface, then it's going to the internet router on the serial interface, and then to the internet. The reason it works is this router has been pre-configured with OSPF, but has also been pre-configured with network address translation. This lab is concentrating on subnetting, so I pre-configured the NAT and routing protocols so that you didn't have to worry about that. Can we get to cisco.com? Yes, we can. Can we get to facebook.com? Yes, we can. So that works on PC0, what about PC2? Can we get to cisco.com? Yes, we can. Can we get to facebook.com? Yes, we can. So I'm hoping already at this point, you've learned a lot about IP addressing, subnetting, how to configure it, and how to make it practical in a network. In the next video, I'm just going to continue doing something very similar for the other subnets. And I'm gonna speed it up by using tricks rather than binary. Mm -hmm.